In a year marked by campaigns ahead of the August 8th general election, the Kenyan economy continues to struggle even as the country waits for another round of fresh presidential elections. This has eaten up on market demands across most sectors of the economy, coupled with delayed payments at both national and county government levels. Trade has suffered as a result of weak consumer demand. Um, imports have not been as high as they've been historically. And we also know that construction has actually had the highest increase in unperforming loans. And this is mainly due to delays in government payments, which have caused these loans to become delinquent. Consequently, the country's private sector has taken a beating in an environment already slowed down by lack of credit due to interest rate curbs regulations. In the first seven months of 2017 alone, we've seen a 1.5% contraction in credit in the economy. So the longer the rate caps stay in place, the greater the risk of credit contraction in the economy. The banks won't lend and the companies are also not keen to spend. And I can tell you that for many businesses in construction, trade, agriculture, IT, manufacturing, tourism, they are not going through easy times because of this issue of political risk. The analysts at Britam, however, say growth projection for the year will be borne by government spending on infrastructure. People are saying the country is growing by 5%, but I can't feel it. You can't feel it because obviously you can't borrow and you can't grow. But it is the government that is driving this through government spending, infrastructure spending, and so on and so forth. Despite all this, the analysts maintain that the economy remains resilient and will withstand the current shocks, though with minimal impact. Mombiwarowe, JKL.